Hey everyone, good morning from Leh Market. So we have come for some quick shopping, uh, just to look at the market and see. So exploring the market by hand. The worst part is uh, to carry the helmet. So me and Nitin are uh, going this way to explore something. Hey, me and Nitin are matching, matching. So the major ones are that we want flags. Shopping street of Leh. Kind of looks similar to Manali as well. In Manali also there is the same kind of a shopping street. And I just wanted to go to SDFC ATM. And there is also ICICI. Oh. Currently come to Shanti Stupa. So, this is it. Let me flip the camera and show you guys. This is a view on top of Shanti Stupa. You can see the whole uh, lay city. Still there, but uh, from this entrance, I think this is the only view which you can see. We just visited Sandhi Supa now and uh, we are heading back. Sorry. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let me show you the view of the city. So that is uh, Leh City. At the end, you can see the birthplace of uh, River Indus or the River Sindhu. So from here, we will go to market. We have to purchase something, and from there, I think we will head to the room of having dinner. Tomorrow, car yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm? 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 Hmm?
एवरीवन सो राइट नाउ वी आर एट हंदर सो वी जस्ट केम टू विजिट सैंड सो इट्स काइंड ऑफ यू नो डेजर्ट फीलिंग नाउ विद अ कोल्ड टेम्परेचर एंड यू कैन सी द माउंटेन्स अब दर वेट सेकेंड एंड दिस वॉज कंप्लीटली क्लियर वेन वी केम एंड नाउ इट स्टार्टेड स्नोइंग द टॉप ऑफ दैट that peak so i'll just show you around in the back camera so from here the sand dunes starts and uh, there are sand dunes at that part as well this is some plain area and uh, beside that there is a river this is kind of a mixed uh, place like there is a uh, rock mountains there is snow capped mountains there is a uh, river there is sand dunes and there are some greeneries out there as well hey everyone good morning from uh, hundar so we stayed at this uh, homestay it was uh, 2.5k for two rooms but uh, the service was good and the food was really beautiful like we almost got a homely food and uh, the view is also awesome so this is the view morning like around 7 7:30 in the morning it was all covered with the clouds but now it's not it's almost 10 am now and at uh, this hill right so you can see clouds and bit of snow as well so right now we are living to pangong lake uh, via the skit monastery and uh, need to have breakfast as well so on the way we'll do those things and i'll catch you on the way yesterday we came via kardungla i could not vlog much because i was running late yeah see you on the road Hey friends so we are, have come to district monastery yeah that's the statue we are behind we are going there oh, we have to climb and with this lack of oxygen right too much bit of suffocation oh, but it will be always worth it so place what we see at the top Okay, let's flip the camera and show you the view. So, that is one view. This is the monastery. That is one more view. But the view is always awesome. And yesterday, these mountains were not covered with snow. But last night I think well, it's no fault there. And uh, raining. <laughs> yes.
everyone good morning we are at pangong lake right now it's uh, 5 am in the morning we uh, i got up early to just observe the sun uh, sunrise from here it's almost uh, 8:30 in the morning so here the sun rises bit early and the sun sets even bit late so around uh, 7:38 we can still see the sunlight out here so this is the view of pangong lake now the water is completely blue heavy breeze as well and uh, it's still cold what you can see here right from there it is china border so india has almost uh, 18 km of that stretch in india and uh, china has almost 100 km of stretch but what the local tells is that uh, the stretch in india is uh, very deep whereas uh, the stretch in uh, the china uh, after china is uh, uh, not very deep so the length is very long so that is what they tell and still nobody have uh, tested how deep this is yeah this is the surrounding area so we stayed in the tent here so we pitched our tent here so now we are just removing the tent so so <laughs> all are very excited so so this is a tent that is a 2 person tent 3 person and 3 person we stayed at this hotel royal foster uh, ladakh so they were very kind enough for us to allow and pitch us pitch our tent here we had to pay uh 1500 for uh, five people for lunch sorry dinner and uh, breakfast so they said that it's around uh, 250 or 350 per person but we got a good reason uh, because it's it's, it's it's expensive here because there is no power supply in this place so whatever power is uh, whatever power they use is from the generators and uh, even the cylinders and vegetable cost they have to go all the way to the lay and uh, get those so it's very expensive so in that in that case the price is justified so we are happy that it it was only in cost of time and for three of us including breakfast and uh, dinner and there are other places we were giving around 800 for one uh, meal so i think this was very good we have heard that at different angles of sun there will be different colors in the water so right now it's greenish morning around 8 i think it was a bluish and uh, during the sunrise it was uh, blackish everyone good afternoon from uh, changla pass so we are almost 17000 uh, 688 feet from the sea level so we are just uh, traveling from uh, uh, pangong lake to karu so this is the pass where we which we get so uh, it's always too crowded man way too crowded but it's better than karzungla is very low here so our bikes are suffering a lot we can't even climb using the first gear as well it's very difficult here and uh, we are planning to go to hanley today it's uh, from here i think it's about 
four hundred kilometers. I don't know how, how we are planning to cover, but uh, we have to cover because if we don't, then it will spoil all our schedules. Yeah, so that's the plan. We'll uh, plan to do it soon and uh, see you. Ahead.